We've discussed the disclosure requirements for NSPM 33. Now we'll discuss what can happen if you violate those disclosure requirements. It lists an array of civil, criminal, and administrative actions that may be appropriate depending on the specific facts of the violation. The guidance also encourages agencies to establish guidelines in conjunction with their implementation of the FY 2021 National Defense Authorization Act. The NDAA Section 223 incorporates specific disclosure requirements around other support. Under Section 223 of the FY 2021 NDAA, individuals and entities are required to disclose all current and pending support and certify that the information they are disclosing is true, accurate, and complete. Section 223 also has a certification requirement for the entity. It requires that the entity certify that it has disseminated information related to these disclosure requirements to all of its employees that are required to make a disclosure. Query what constitutes a proper dissemination of these requirements. Covered individuals under Section 223 of the NDAA, who are individuals that are required to comply with the disclosure requirements, are defined similarly to key personnel. As discussed in previous segments of this video, other support is defined broadly. It includes both domestic and foreign sources of other support. It includes not only financial support, but also in-kind support. And it includes support that is provided both through the entity who is submitting the application or support that is provided directly to the individual researcher. Section 223 includes enforcement measures that may not only be taken against an individual that fails to properly disclose other support, but also against the institution. An institution may be liable under Section 223 if it meets one of three criteria. One, if the institution knew that a covered individual failed to disclose the required information and did not take appropriate measures to fix the non-disclosure before the application was submitted. Two, if it did not inform its employees of their disclosure requirements. Or three, if the head of the federal sponsor determines that the entity is owned, controlled, or substantially influenced by a covered individual and that such individual failed to properly disclose other support. Enforcement actions that an agency may take for failure to properly disclose include rejection of the application, suspension or termination of the award, temporary or permanent discontinuance of funding from that agency for the individual or the entity as a whole, temporary or permanent suspension or debarment of the individual or the entity, referral to the agency inspector general, and or to law enforcement to determine whether any criminal or civil laws have been violated, and identification of the individual's poor past performance in FAPIS, which is the Federal Award Performance and Integrity Information System, which will alert other agencies of the failure to meet the disclosure requirements, and any other actions that the individual or entity may be subject to under law. Notably, the guidance indicates that there should be some element of due process in an enforcement action. Specifically, the guidance states that in accordance with Section 223, if a research agency intends to take action for failure to properly disclose, the agency, as applicable and appropriate and in accordance with applicable laws and re regulations, must notify each individual or research organization subject to the action about the reason for the action. Further, it must provide the individual or entity with the opportunity to and a process by which it may contest this action. Even where an agency can't meet the knowledge or control requirements of Section 223 in order to bring an enforcement action against an individual or an entity, research agencies can still apply non-enforcement actions. Even where an agency cannot bring an enforcement action under Section 223 because it can't prove that an institution knowingly failed to properly disclose other support or that it failed to properly inform its employees of the other support disclosure requirements, the guidance indicates that an agency may still take what it calls quote-unquote non-enforcement actions against the institution for failure to disclose other support properly. Such non-enforcement actions may include but are not limited to the imposition of special award conditions, increased agency site visits, withholding of payments and cost disallowances, award suspension and termination, and notably further withholding of federal awards for a project or program.